What's going on everyone? Connor here from Gear Reviews bringing you another video. Today I just wanted to go through what gear I packed when I went away to the cottage recently. I did use my Osprey Nebula and I will be doing an updated review on this bag talking about my experience using it but today I just wanted to go through the gear that I brought with me as I found it was a good balance and some things to consider when you go on your next adventure. Make sure that you click the subscribe button and bell down below so that you get notifications when I post new content. So let's take a look at what I've got in the Osprey Nebula. Starting on the outside, I brought my Jovi tripod with me. Um, these things are great, they adapt to any situation. They've got the nice swivel heads on it. It's really helpful for when I was taking videos and pictures up there to make sure that I could get what I wanted and I didn't have to bring my giant tripod. Next up, the sunglasses pocket here. Um, I really used it for sort of a small odds and ends compartment. I have the charger for the Apollo Lantern. I've got um, some of the instructions manuals for the lights that I had. And then I've also got some extra batteries for you know headlamps and everything just to be prepared and another instruction manual. So if we move on to the main compartment, which is where I kept a lot of stuff, I've got the Energizer headlamp, the my GoPro action camera. I've got a giant uh, snap-on flashlight. It's uh, got two different areas that it uses. Really great for lighting up a larger area, depending on what you're doing. Of course, I brought the Black Diamond Apollo Lantern. Came in really handy up there when we were trying to light up areas to play games. I brought a ultralight medical kit for when we went hiking or in the canoe or, or ATVing as you never know when you might need something and having a med kit's always a good way to be prepared, especially if you're out in the woods and you're away from base camp. Next up, I've got the Black Diamond Spot headlamp, which again, an amazing thing to have up there. You definitely want headlamps if you're out camping just so that you can see everything easier. And then I've also got a cat lantern. I like to bring a lot of lights as you never know when one might burn out or uh, how many you're gonna use. So I like to just be a little extra prepared with the lights and I don't know what the rest of the group that I'm bringing has so it's better to just err on the side of caution with lights. And the last thing in the main compartment here is the Adventure Medical Kit. It's the Mountain Series, so it's good for seven people for 14 days. It is the guide version, which is uh, the rating that it gives for how many people and how many days it can help. It's got a lot of different things in there. It helps to prepare for any situation. It's got braces, it's got everything. It's sort of a go-to medical kit. I like to go prepared just in case, as you never know what's gonna happen, you don't know how far away you are from medical professionals. All right, so in the front pocket, I don't have much in here. I have a notebook in case I had any ideas come to me, and then a pen as well, just simple things to bring. You never know when you're gonna wanna write something down, or if you're playing a game and you need to keep score. If we move to the back pocket here, I put in my portable charger in the front mesh pocket in there, and then nothing else in there. And then I've got my Kindle, and then I've got two books as well. One for me and one for my girlfriend. Just as, you know, it's always nice to read out in wilderness. Right there is everything I, I packed away in this bag. It's a decent amount of stuff, but it fit in really well. It was really comfy on my back, and I didn't feel that it was heavy at all. And just some of the essentials that I wanted to bring on my trip in case of different situations. So let me know what you guys think down below or if there's any gear that I should add just in case. Make sure you check out my Instagram and Twitter down in the description at The Gear Reviewer. I post a lot of things about the trips or adventures I'm going on and any new gear that I've gotten or just any general updates about my channel. I hope you're all staying well and we'll see you guys later. Bye bye